Did you ever wish that you had your own artificial intelligence that would look at your face and turn it into data like this? Then, if you had all that data, you could bring it into Blender and put it on a 3D character like this. Wow! Well, what is OpenPose and uh, how do I install it? Well, here we go. So you can uh, Google OpenPose and take a look at their website. It has uh, a lot of really good information. It's open source and it's free for non-commercial use. And it's pre-compiled too. So you can go to the download page. Uh, if you click around, it has a download link that you can download these four different versions. I didn't need the Unity versions, and there is a GPU and a CPU version, and my G GPU on this computer isn't powerful enough to actually run OpenPose, so I downloaded the CPU version. But I think if you have a more modern uh, NVIDIA video card, uh, you can use the GPU version, and I've done that on other computers, and it works a little faster than the CPU version, so I'll let you decide. You click download, and once you download it, you unpack the zip, and it'll create a directory called uh, OpenPose FLIR 3D CPU, and you can then open up instructions.txt, and uh, forget these lines, I added those lines later, but... Basically, if you double click on models, get models, it'll download everything via batch file. So go into the models directory, and I've already downloaded all the models, so there's a bunch of junk in here, but there's a getmodels.bat, and if you double click on this file, it will uh, open a DOS window and it'll download and install all the models that you want to use uh, to use OpenPose. Okay, now that we've installed it, we're going to go ahead and run an actual video through it. So I've created a folder and I've placed it in the OpenPose FLIR 3D CPU output folder. And I created a folder called Capture Test. And I put my MPEG-4 video of a quick facial capture I did with my cell phone. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this video into OpenPose and create all of the data for the facial motion capture. So if uh, you look at instructions.txt in the root of the FLIR 3D CPU folder, if you open this guy up, um, I've been keeping the command lines for every one that I've done so far as a test and every time I do a new one I copy and paste in here and for this video I created this ahead of time but I used these previous ones to do it. Basically what I did was I said uh, this is the switch that tells it which video to do and I said go to output capture test video capture test mp4. These are relative paths from the root of the uh, FLIR 3D CPU folder. So you can see I'm in output capture test and I put that output capture test right here and then the name of the file right here and then I say write JSON to output but I can put into here output capture test and it'll put the JSON into this folder now and then I use the face switch if you want to track the hands, you can put the hand switch in here as well and paste that into there and it'll do the face and the hands, but I have no hands in this, so I'm not gonna do that. And this tells it where to write the video output and I want the output to go to output capture test and it's gonna create a capture test AVI file that it'll create right alongside right here. So if I take this line, I copy it, and then I go to the command line and I go to the open pose folder then I can right click and paste this line in and then when I press enter it'll start open pose it takes a minute to draw the first frame but what it's doing is it's analyzing the first frame in the file and it's finding all the points of my face and plotting them to the screen and figuring out where um, all the points of its recognition are. 
So in a second, my face will pop up right here, and there's the first frame. And if I minimize this and go back to the other page, you'll see that it has created the ABI file, and it's creating the JSON files all alongside of it right here. So we'll have all of the files slowly showing up as it analyzes the file. So I'm going to pause the video here and let it think for a long while and come back in a little bit. Left, right, up, down, blink, blink, twist, twist. Hello, this is a test. This is my left ear. This is my left ear. This is my right ear. Eyebrows up, down. So now that we've captured our facial motions to JSON files using OpenPose, we can go and try and get them imported into Blender. To do that, I've created a Python script and I've posted it here on GitHub. You can go and grab it. On the GitHub page for the script, there's a long description of how to modify the file to make it work for your rig. You can download the Python file and open it in the text editor inside of Blender, or you can just click on the file select it from GitHub, copy it, then when you're inside a Blender, open a new file, you can go to scripting and create a new text file and paste it in. You now have a script that you can modify to work with your rig, and when you're done with the modifications, you can press the Run button to execute the script and apply the JSON files to your rig. So now that we've finished with the open pose capture, we have our directory with our two video files, one of the input file and one the output file, and all of the JSON files that were generated by open pose. Now I've taken my characters blend file and saved it into this folder. The script doesn't have a browse for files dialog box, it just looks in the same folder that your blend file is saved into. So either move the JSON files to where your blend file is, or save your blend file into the JSON folder like I have here. So now that we have the script modified in the way we want it, we can go ahead and just execute it. But when I'm running Python, I like to actually see what I'm doing in the console to see if there's any errors. So I turn the console on and I leave it on in the corner of the screen so I can see what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and execute the script and you can see it's running up through all the frames. There's about 900 frames and it goes actually quite quickly so that's what's nice about modifying the file, seeing if it works and then trying it again and running it over and over again. So I go back to the beginning and I hit play. There's a little bit of a head twitch at the beginning but it looks like it worked well. So let's render this out and see what it looks like. Left, right, up, down, blink, blink, twist, twist. Hello, this is a test. This is my left ear. This is my left ear. This is my right ear. Eyebrows up, down. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs>